Oh, there we go. Big kill number 50. Pretty nice. So yeah, currently log is 50 kills and uh, yeah, it's it's going well. Right. Any amount of damage, that would be quite nice. Oh! 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 We're on the board! We're on the board! We're on the board! We have a tier 95 hats. Let's go. Big, 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 big. So, this account officially luckier than my main so that's a good start that's a good start that is a very good start I need one more piece for the tp set effect now yeah terrible oh not so terrible though level seven no not level uh words kills of 75 we're going pretty well hopefully 100 before too long build the flash event it's dark on score time for the first time ever bam jk but that's fine. Back to Razor. I might try a little vampirism strat this time with my Blood Reaver and life transferring my familiars. Hey guys, pro tip that I should have done a long time ago actually is because we're not eating all of our food, taking expensive spices in your invent is actually really good. It makes everything heal 50 HP more. Nice and stuff. So it's working out alright. Oh, we're well, speaking of working out alright. That is a level. Lovely. We're level 102. Oh, another combat level. Oh, 140 combat. Big. I get to do more damage. Oh, not just that, 3,000 total level as well. Look at that. That's a nice clean number, isn't it? Look at that. Look at us go. And I get to do a speed 3 glyph, which I'm never going to use. Fantastic. Used. Oh, oh. Dude, I, th <laughs> I thought I'd... Okay, well, 100 KC. Hooray. And I got my final boss back, apparently. So there we go. That's a couple of pop-ups. That depends on... What we get, I guess, but yeah. Okay, why can't all phases just be like perma crit? It makes it so much nicer, I swear. I'm from, but I'm not complaining. Oh, was that a PB? Maybe for this account? 101. No, oh, not quite. 101.8. I think it's a tied PB right now, actually. Not bad, though. I think it's a nice. A nice skill to have, but. Oh, don't you dare to have a drop. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, okay, I don't think it dropped anything, unless it was a memento, but thankfully that wasn't a big drop. And it ends. But... Oh! No, I got a drop! Are you serious? Of all the drops, why is it a dupe? Oh my god. Oh, I, I was worried about this earlier. I was like, oh, if I get another drop, I bet it's going to be... Bro, I... Oh. Why? <laughs> when I say another one, I meant another drop, not another crown. Ready? Dude, the talent point... I... I... Okay. These talent point... I, I want to disable them. They're... They, they just bait you so hard. Oh. Oh my god, wait. We just got a... Oh. 54! That's just a random peep... Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it, it's a sigil diff. It's a sigil diff. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a back to back PV, I think. What the hell? I get we're popping off now. 52, okay. And, oh, there we go. Another one down. EVS with the Omni Guard just before I got a kill, I swear. These people with their drops, I swear, they're, they're, they're just everywhere. Alright, here we go. I think the trick is to undead sigil just before your death skulls land, and I think is it calculates damage on landing probably? You get a nice little boost for a bit longer. Flying. Oh my god. This happened, that's a necromancer level, nearly died, but we did it, and some catalysts. 103, they're pretty good. Alright, here we go. Summon zombie. Summon ghosty. Enter instance, summon skeleton, activate ghosty, activate skeleton, boom, uh, target cycle of death skulls, soul sap, touch of death, auto attack, soul sap, uh, ulti and a gem pot, same tick, touch of death, and then death skulls, then we're going to use bloat, and then eldritch, then we're going to auto a bit, we'll take scalver here as well, get 12 stacks, you do a, uh, a finger, do another auto, do a touch of death, do a death skulls, and then activate sigil and finger, and then finger again. 
and auto attack three times to get six stacks, then finger again again. And then by that point it should be almost done. There we go, you can life transfer now as well. Command skeletons, don't misclick on that pillar. Death skulls, volley of souls, uh, finger of death, do whatever, finger of death again. Touch of death and weapon spec. And then it's a bit of RNG sometimes whether your kill is over now or not, but that's about how to get around one minute kills without the uh, super fancy tier 95 gear. So ta-da! What? And let's try to dodge the ghosts. 94k reclaim. How am I ever going to afford that? What the hell? That's fine. No, my stone spirits. I will never recover from this. I didn't pick them up. Oh, I'm devastated. I've only got uh, 280,000 of them. Oh, there we go, guys. 200 Razzles done. We've done like 170 KC today, by the way. Uh, for two crowns, but it's alright. We keep going, we keep going. Do I get damage? Oh, wow, wait, where'd that go? What the hell? It was like 50k to zero, and I don't know what I did. But I'm glad it happened. But I wish I was that guy getting the hand wraps. Or, or this guy getting the bottoms. Or that guy getting foot wraps. Damage looking good, though. Whoa, what a pre-phase. Holy moly, down to 157? That's crazy. Okay. Oh, I thought that was me for a second with the lantern. Oh, but again, drops are raining down around us. One second too slow. Yeah, Hellhound, kind of nice here over Blood Reaver in terms of food usage, but in terms of kill speed, it really is a, uh, a bit of a letdown in comparison. Unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, the log. Well, the iron was not luckier than the main, basically. 255 and two crowns. So, GG, I suppose. Unlucky everywhere. Right, well, there we have it then. So much for the iron being the lucky charm when the main account wasn't. So, uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow it will be a little bit better. But right now I'm just doing some AFK her mod. It's pretty good, actually. I'm uh, doing minimal effort. I'm a uh, blood reaver. I've got weapon poison. I've got penance powder. Uh, and I've got this particular ability bar, although the scythe may not be required at all. Um, that's not on the PVME thing, but I, I was a bit weaker before and I got minions sometimes, so I kind of needed the scythe. But I think I'm strong enough now that I don't really get minions, and that's something that was really wrong. But all I'm doing is, is just activating my undead sigil every single kill, and it seems to work out alright. Uh, so I'm trying to get myself a little bit stronger for tomorrow. Let me do a little bit more of the old Raziel. Is it? Oh, I got a plate. Because it would be nice to have the, uh, the tier 90 boots as well. And uh, someday I might want the gloves. Uh, right now I've been using a Death Touch bracelet at her mod, uh, at Raziel, sorry. Uh, which seems to be pretty decent, but it doesn't really matter what you use. But eventually it will be replaced, of course, by tier 95, but that is probably a while away, judging by our drop log. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be better. If you guys would like to see the kills and the progress, then do come along to the streams. The link is in the description. Hopefully, You'll come along, have a good time, ask questions, get answers, etc, etc, hang out. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing this for a bit, trying to get some more plates. I guess I'll show you my current log as well after my living death ends, because you're not allowed to open menus during this for some inexplicable reason. But I'm sure it's very important. Oh, let's quick chat it. That's a good idea. I've killed... 264 and I've received 27 out of a possible 29 because 29 is when you can make all of the armor so getting pretty close just two more to go so really not far off now uh, and then I'll be in full tier 90 which is quite a nice achievement actually I'll have that very very soon but for now guys hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you again next time